It was during the commissioning of the construction work for the late Professor Nelson Awori's memorial where former Vice President Moody Awori and Prime Minister Raila Odinga clashed over views on the performance of the Grand Coalition Government. Yes. Awari voiced his concerns about the wrong direction the country was taking, but for every shortcoming Awari enumerated, Raila was counteracting. Surely, there shouldn't still be Kenyan IDPs today. There shouldn't be Kenyans in refugee camps in neighboring countries. Do you go to Uganda and force them to come back? As Uganda come to Kenya to ask Ugandans here to go back to Uganda. I don't think this government can be blamed for those who are living in Uganda when they know that Kenya is now safe. While I was however quick to stand for the Grand Collision government performance. We disbanded the Electoral Commission. Both sides agreed that the Electoral Commission must go home. And we have set up a team of experts to spearhead the process of constitutional review. That commission is in place and is working. But the accusations and counter accusations continued. I do believe that 20 months after that serious violence, after the elections, we could be doing a little better. Yeah, I want him to get his facts right. The government is not 20 months old. The Grand Coalition government was formed on the 17th of April of last year. That is just about 16 months. Even the way the government spends its money on beautification projects came up. I'm surprised that sand and stones are what we need to beautify our Nairobi. I'm surprised because I was in Dubai the other day, the desert, and in the streets they are booting vegetation. <laughs> in Dubai they use uh, vegetation because they don't have it. They don't have vegetation, they need it. Here we have, everywhere, everywhere is green. <laughs> so you can beautify it by putting some little <laughs> stone somewhere. <laughs> Olivia Ketch, Citizen TV.